Greetings once again, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, the Tenvin's channel. It is cafe latte time here. I hope you do have a cafe latte. If you don't, be sure to get one or two, a handful if you can, or if you can get like one of those big size ones. I don't really recommend the big size ones. It's better to go small and a few than one and large. It's just the way they are. Anyways, how are you doing, everybody? Um, what's going on? What games are you playing recently? Uh, question of today's episode. What is your favorite fast food restaurant? Something like Taco Bell, Burger King, Moss Burger, something like that. And also, as a sub-question, do you like Jack in the Box? Yeah, I'd like to know. And also, is Jack in the Box any good? Do you think? I can't tell you how long it's been since I've been the Jack in the Box, because I have no idea, but it's been an enormously long time. Anyways, I want to know, what do you think? Favorite fast food, and what do you think about Jack in the Box? Is it any good? I remember, you know, when I was, you know, as a little, a little human. Yeah, you know, the, the Jack in the Box was, is good in some things, you know. Some things were just better to stay away from. Some things were good, some things were like, yeah, you know, just go to Jack in the Box because you really crave it because it's unique. Anyways, the rain has stopped, so let's get out of this vehicle. Uh, oh, wait, how do we do that? There we go. Okay. Today's episode, definitely we need to do this. We have, in the last episode, I worked my booty, oh, my plated, shiny plated booty off. And let's see, I've got more stuff Really cool stuff. Solar panels, a miner. Oh, there we go. Solar panels, one, two, three. And, oh yeah, we got this hybrid replicator, but it only builds one thing. The Odysseus, which is like, maybe the end of the game, possibly. Once you build that and you power everything up and you're all good to go, you know, I bet you you push that and there's maybe an end sequence. Hopefully much better than the end sequence of, say, like Conan. Oh, and what's this? The teleport. Okay, we need to unlock this by building the hybrid replicator. What is that? Oh, that's the hybrid replicator right there. Okay, so teleporting entities across the planet. That would be cool, but is it also My one of those things that... You are slightly thirsty. Whatever your name is, be quiet, man. I don't want you to be telling me when I'm thirsty or not. I'll decide that. Oh, yeah, and I got a beacon here. So I can always mark a point on my map, but it won't appear on my compass unless I'm within range. This thing would probably appear on the compass at any time. However, I can also make a custom map point of interest and it appears on the compass. And I could probably rename it. No, I can't rename it. What if I did one like here? Oh, I can only have one at a time. Okay, and right, and I got a miner. Where is it? This is one of the most important things. There it is, the mining rig. Okay, fully uh, that can drill into metallic veins and mine ores. Can be connected to a conveyor system or containers and requires electricity. It is really heavy. Can I put this? Well, let me try here. Let me put it, uh, put it there. Okay, zero. It'll go onto a foundation. It'll go onto land. And it will. Yeah, okay, so it'll snap to uh, some kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah, it'll snap to a flat area, including conveyor tubes, of course. Okay, so, right. It can drill into metallic veins and mine ores. Can be connected to a conveyor system or containers. Okay, well, why don't I just give it a whirl on land? All right, so down here I've got ore. I've got, um, ugh, oh, that's really loud. <laughs> I've got um, whatever's down there. Uh, it's called, uh, oh no, I've just fallen off again. Uranium and gold. Okay, uranium and gold, so... Why don't I? All right, yeah, put one right there. Uh, is there a... I'll put the interface over there. Okay, don't know if it's useful. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yes. Okay, there we go. I had to set up this little dispenser down here because uh, I couldn't reach. 
All right, so now I need to power it. Okay, power. Nutrition level dropping. That's okay. No, ah, set up. It's just nutrition. Give it a rest. Okay, cool. Oh, what is it doing? Oh, it's. Uh, oh no, that's ah. Oh, I always push that. Q is auto walk forward. Okay, what do I need? Uh, tab. Yes, I think so. Okay, E. It's drilling. Whoa! It's drilling aluminium and silver. Estimated yield per hour. A hundred titanium. Twenty-five hundred silver? Almost two thousand uranium. Seventeen hundred gold? A hundred cobalt? Some iron. Oh, Seventy-five iron. That's pretty cool. A bunch of aluminium. And the silicon and carbon, yeah, we'd want that. Okay, yeah, yeah, because any deposit of ore has a small chance to yield things outside of what it normally is supposed to give. So this is giving me uh, the green stuff and the gold. That's probably why the gold count is high, because this is mainly a gold ore node and a uranium node. But it's also giving me other things, surprisingly a, a huge amount of aluminium. Silicone, we do need that. We don't have it here. I'd have to fly basically two minutes north. Carbon, that's really nice. 150 per hour, possibly. That's nice. And the, a boost of iron. Yeah, that's really nice. Iron, of course, we always need that. However, there's we just don't need this silver. I wish I could toggle it to not mine silver. Uh, <laughs> because we just don't need it. Uh, what's that? What is that button? Oh, let's take all, probably. Use connected containers if full. You know what? Don't do that. So I've already got silicon, gold, uranium, silver, and aluminium. No carbon yet. That's a big thing. We need carbon. Why don't you have some... It? I can't put that in there. No! What? What is wrong with you? You know what I might do? Because I don't want it filling up with gobs and gobs of... At least not yet. Not right now. I don't want to deal with it right now. I mean, I could see setting up a bunch of more printers and have this thing just keep on pumping out ore and the printers can be set to just, you know, create gobs and gobs of printed resources and that would be cool but I need a, like a really huge dedicated storage area for that and that means you know creating a big spot in the mountain and all that and stuff so right now I'm not gonna do that what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find this six yeah we'll put that here uh, yeah go ahead and just uh, do that and that, does that look like it's about a line there? Yeah, I think so. Five, do that, hit that, no! Ugh. Yes, give me my light, yes, yes, okay! And now, uh, yeah, okay, I'll just take that, and now we'll go back in here and select Use Connected Intenvoris, and it should be now. It is, should be filling up all of these, look at that, I got all of these. Seven compact containers. Yeah, and if I ever do want to connect them, all I gotta do is just uh, refurb that or rebuild it. Yeah, build it, and then it's just boom, and then I can have all the ores uh, usable by the machines up there if I don't wanna just like pick through it and, you know, take what I need and run up the stairs. I don't have to, I leave myself an option. Okay, cool. And I'm quite interested in putting one of those on the bottom of a vehicle because well right now we're getting every single ore in the game except for the alien ore so what if I made a special vehicle to tote this thing around to go harvest alien ore or no that would be a rubbish idea because it doesn't actually it doesn't actually accumulate it all that fast it's not slow but actually that's pretty good instead of that you know what the the ura the um the whatchamacallit ore, alien ore is pretty close. So, yeah, I'm just going to set up a mining rig at the, an alien ore deposit. Yeah, and I'll set up solar panels to power the thing. We'll set up some containers to hold a bunch more, although we probably don't need that. Actually, you know what? The, the, the inventory of the thing is probably enough. Yeah, let's go do that. Let's go do that.
Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jam all this stuff that I don't know where it came from in my storage inventory, and then... There we go! Then I'm just going to build all these things. There's all the pieces I need. Now to take it back. Actually, I don't think I need all these batteries, but... Okay, that looks like morning. Seems like a good time to go out. And we'll set up a Zanite, a Zanite, or farm. There's the sun pointing the way to the Zanite. Wait, is that a hole I dug before? What is this hole here, by the way? Oh yeah, I remember. Oh, okay, I remember doing this. Yeah, and that is Zanite right in there. That's really far down, though. Um, I possibly find. Here we go. Here's an ore one. Nice. All right, the sun rises over there. So, put this down. Also have maybe two batteries. Why well, not three batteries? Okay. Raining in the desert here. Okay, so set up. I need to connect that. There we go. And H and set up. Now can you set it? Can you set it up? No. Ah, it's not giving me something here. What are you? What are you not giving me? C. No. Why can't I? Why can't I set up my uh, my switch here? Um. Is it because this thing's in the way? Okay. I don't know. Maybe. No, I need, uh, no, I need, no, a tab, yes, okay, get this thing out of here, I don't know, okay, put it on the other side, there we go, okay, set up, now I can reach it, okay, cool, and reach all the other batteries as well, there we go, the batteries are already full anyways, where is the miner, there it is, zero, Putting it there. I think it'll enjoy that. Oh, 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 was that a game freeze or was that an autosave? Not sure, but it was like a few seconds of waiting <laughs> right when I connected it with the electricity. Alright, tab, are you working? You are working, sweet. Okay, the yield per hour is 344 zanite, zanite, yeah, something like that, and a bit of silicon, cool. I thought it would deliver us more Zanite than that, but... Alright, that was so easy! Um, I have I have a Zanite thing going on. Um, I might have... I didn't... You know, judging by the other one, I thought there would be like thousands of Zanite in here, but it's only a small number of hundreds. I'm sure while we're doing other, thi other things, this thing's gonna be farming. I'll be able to come over here and pull out hundreds of Zanite, and, you know... It should be fine. You know, I could always stick another thing over here at some point not difficult but that's cool so I got that I've got one at the base mining pretty much everything else I need and there's that and I set up a solar panel I might set up some solar panels at this base all right there we go as I am slightly thirsty secured. I know I just drank <laughs> I have set up a solar embankment right on the outside of our mountain here on the edge of a base, so the base is still, of course, hidden within the mountain. Um, it's good for concealment, of course, but just the uh, power, the extra power absorption of the solar panels is outside. Very minimalistic, so we're still hidden within the mountain. Um, you know, we just have, of course, an entrance, because you gotta have, what, an entrance, right? I got my big van parked out here because I can't bring it into... Um, a small base within a mountain, right? Because it's, like, too big, right? And, uh, yeah, same with that thing. It's not going to fit in there unless I made the base huge, which um, I'm not doing right now. Right now, inside, of course, with the space of hollowed out, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit tight in there. So, you know, even more generators and stuff, while that's possible, it's, it's going to be tight right now. I'd have to dig out much more of the mountain, and I don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm putting this outside. Besides, there are solar panels. We want to use them. They're good for sharing the load. Sharing the load of the, of the, of the water thing back there, even though it's a completely renewable resource. 
But anyways, yeah, solar panels. They blend right into the mountainside, as you can see. Um, it's, um, well, I can even paint this. Yeah, I'll paint this to blend it even more. And then any of our friends... Oh, I need composites. No! Any of our friends that are from the ship, you know, they're going to have to find their own base. They're not going to suck off of me. All right, why don't you craft... Oh, 999. Yeah, I'm just going to have to have way more biomass than that. That's one thing I really need to go out and spend a lot of time uh, harvesting is biomass. Yeah, I might even put some uh, supporting foundations in here. What do you think? I think that would be cool. Yeah, I'll make this cool round pillar here. That'll be cool because it's cool, right? Oh, I need to reload. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool right there. All right, while it's smoking, I think uh, we've made some more bio... What are they called again? Composite parts, yeah. So we got three machines making composite parts. Um, right, I need more electronics. Anybody can make me more electronics. <laughs> okay, you can't make any more composite parts. Don't have enough uh, bio maskal things. All right, epic. That is all of them. That is a whole solar panel array for now. Um, I didn't use the big ones because, you know, they're a little bit big and I thought I could maximize the space a little bit. Well, uh, the big ones are... The big ones aren't twice as powerful, but mm, they're getting close, so... Yeah, I don't know. I just thought this this slipped, you know, it was low profile, which is what we need, you know? We've, we're living in a mountainside for concealment, for obvious reasons. Um, because... You know, there's the Congenia Corporation. Who knows? M the maniacal people from the Congenia Corporation might still be out there and they might come here and they might uh, steal my my carbon or my composites or something like that. My biomass. Can't have that. i just fallen down. I can't have that either. All right, so I've made this uh, tower here, so I need to connect up all of this. Oh, okay. You don't get like a graphical effect like connecting up a machine or a battery but you do get a sound effect sweet and yeah even a light post you know a little bit of light at night is necessary you know not you know come out here at night it's rain lightning storm just like that like we had except that that was dark but it was even in the daytime right you know, a little bit of light is okay. Nobody's gonna, like, you know, see our base from, like, a mile away, right? I mean, it's pretty well hidden in the mountain here. Um, and what I could do is get that off. No, nope, that's not off. What I can do is take this back out, and I can select... Uh, what do you think? That? Yeah, yeah, same color as the van. Oh, you can even paint these too. That is cool. That is cool. Oh, this light tower only has, you know, painting on the bottom base. Oh, I gotta get these. You know what? We can kind of camo this bit here. Yeah, desert camo. Or actually, you know what? Give me that. Kind of hollowed out a bit below the ground. This, oh, this should be, um, yeah, yeah. Let's just have it. The, de the classic desert, um, you know, it matches the mountains. There we go. Yeah, so... Of course, our machinery out here matches the mountains. I should I should do this bit here, obviously. Okay, great. Now that it's night, we're done with that. Just kind of camouflage the, um, you know, the entry to the base. Make sure no one's really, really looking. Make it all match. It's just a mountain. Nothing to see here. Just a mountain in the side of another mountain. It's just... Mountains forever and ever. Desert forever and ever. You know what? You've been out there too. I know you have. It's desert forever and ever. Other than that, so we got the solar panels, we got some of the miners, which are really great. We got those hooked up. And you know what? I just don't really see that it's all that necessary to even have a vehicle with those mining rigs attached to the bottom. I could see that it would be kind of useful and fun, especially if you want to have more of a roving base. 
you know, like in the pictures, a big flying platform that can do mining and stuff like that. That would be cool, but not actually all that useful. You know what? I'm getting pretty much every metal I need. I'm getting pretty much everything I need except biomass, as far as I know. As far as I can tell, I'm getting everything I need. Uh, from just this one miner over there and the Zaynite thing over there, I can even put in more miners over here, you know? I could just go ahead and do that. You know, for the iron and the carbon and the silicon, that sort of thing, you know, we're gonna get be getting way too much, like, silver and uranium and stuff. We can just throw that away and make more room for those other necessary things. We don't even have to go north. Oh, and look at this, we're getting so much power right now. It's basically at right now, it's got unlimited resources. We're making the deuterium faster than this thing uses it up. But the base will expand, there'll be more crafting stations working and stuff like that. So, oh, it's down to 13%. So we're going to need more power. So right now it's working at 13, 70%. It's, a, you know, one of those, I guess. So can I hook this? Okay, you attach to there. And also, can you, uh, I'm sure you can, attach it there. Yes, okay, sweet. And now, oh, this thing has gone down to 8%, 7%. That's like half of what it used to be. 109 hours in the daytime. Oh, yeah. Solar panels. Using the power of the local star. We are living off-grid in this mountain abode, which can be as big and as luxurious as we want it to be. I guess it already is, it already is off-grid. Wait, there is no grid. There is no grid unless I make a grid. Wait, that's a metaphor. None of the things that we don't like in our lives cannot exist if we stop making them. If you don't like the grid, stop making it. If you don't like your job, stop making it. If you don't like the whole money hamster wheel system, stop making it. You can make anything you can imagine in its place if you just stop. All you have to do is stop making it and it stops existing. Everyone everywhere, you know, they're contributing to the creation of the, all the things we're suffering from in this world, on this planet, if you just stop it stops existing. You have to keep making it. Every time you wake up and set your alarm and do this and do that and pay this and pay that, you are creating it by your actions on a daily basis. If you don't like it, stop making it on a daily basis. You can use your time to do something else, anything you want. I'm sure a lot of us can think of a hundred thousand things better than uh, the situation we got right now. So that's what I've done here. Yeah, I don't like the grid uh, that uh, we have uh, uh, right now. So I've made my own grid. It's the only grid that exists. And it is, uh, what? It's, it's perpetual. This is free energy. Well, the sun, obviously. It's just light. It's just warming the mountain. And the, and the deuterium, which is basically hydrogen because it's hydrogen. Hydrogen's everywhere. Because water's everywhere. Oh, the rain, it won't stop. No. All right, what was I about to say? Uh, right, okay, so I connected that up. Yes, okay. Ah, oh, yes, I was building these. Okay, can we get that off? Thank you. Okay, I'm building these because with the rest of the episode... Yeah, that's totally right. Yeah, we get, did the thing, set up the miners, all that kind of thing. I might set up some more miners in just the same way. I might even set up a miner, yeah, yeah, right under here. See, this is a different kind of node, so I'll set up a different miner under, under here. I'm sure all I'll need is like two miners. I'll see what that yields. But in this uh, endeavor here, so uh, we're going to have to travel around. I also need biomass, so I might as well go down, what do you think we explore? The South Pole. Uh, getting there might be quite hazardous, but... Uh, we can go to the South Pole, see what's down there. Who knows, it might be a huge, lush jungle rainforest. We can harvest a bunch of biomass, discover some more of these monument uh, tower things, maybe even hook up some teleportation down there. Yeah, it's a journey. I want to see what's at the poles.
because that's cool, right? Um, I kind of already know what's... I, it feels like around here is mostly deserts. And then down here might be even more dangerous deserts with that weird blackened lava looking thing. Kind of the equator might be all deserts, but not totally, not not totally. And then up here seems to be, you know, all cold regions and stuff like that. Which is, I, think, I think the cold is even... Well, actually, it might not be worse than the heat. I'm not actually sure. I was just nearly killed by the cold one time, so... I had that experience uh, in the cold. I almost died. But as long as we stay in the cockpit and we have the thermal injections, I think we might be okay. And we can go down here and check out down there. Yeah, that's the plan. Exploration. We'll just see what's down there. Oh no, I've blown a hole in my roof right above my bed. No, <laughs> well, I guess I've always liked to see the sky when I'm sleeping so I can tell, you know, exactly when morning is coming. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I also made a hole over here. I was just trying to expand this bit over here. Oh no, I got two holes now. All right, fine. We'll just have to dig deeper into the mountain. All right, to jump out of the moving chopper. Let the seat roll on. How much have you got for us? 300, wow. Oh no, that's not. It says uh, it's making 344 an hour. We have 210. I don't think it's been an hour, but oh, we got a bunch of other stuff too. Uranium, ooh, 90 carbon. What? Oh, I never saw this. I was only looking at that. Oh, uh, and not very much for the rest of them. But 49 carbon an hour, sweet. Yeah, these, these batteries might be slowly depleting every night. Oh well, it's okay, it can mine in the daytime. Right now we have five hours of flight time, so we shall increase that to 10 hours of flight time. Nice. We are ready, lift off. I have emptied the inventory on this thing as well. Uh, I've done it by hand, it's just so much easier than using one of those port things. All right, we're going straight south. Well, are we going straight south? Actually, yeah, we'll just go straight to the South Pole. We have the best in suit technology, which is... Well, that's helpful. We have the best in defense technology, which is actually pretty good. Defense, offense, that gun is pretty uh, powerful. It uh, takes care of the biggest things in just a second, basically. And we have the best in jetpack technology, which is uh, kind of adequate in the harsh biomes like the one I'm in right now. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's time, um, there isn't really much else I can do, um, just to get the best uh, suit and stuff like that, and, uh, throw more injections, I guess. And we'll see what's down south, I have to uh, cross this, uh, vast desert, and there it is, I have no idea what these big black lava looking, but it's not lava. But there's these lava looking places in there. It's also got the Zenite alien ore in there, just like this desert here. No idea what those things really are, though. Anyways, we might see a lot of that. Or it might just be patches like this um, in the desert. We'll just find out. We're sailing at 72 kilometers an hour to the South Pole. Oh, and here is that, okay, yeah, whenever you get over one of these patches, the you get, I think, really high temperatures and this kind of haze that comes over. It's like dang really dangerously high temperatures. All right, it's over. However, you know what? Staying in the cockpit of your vehicle, even though this is the open-air cockpit here, it uh, really gives you a temperature buff. And I've pretty much, I don't recall ever... I don't think I've ever needed like a thermore injection uh, while in a cockpit. I'm not really sure. I mean, it is saying it's 30 degrees, but uh, that doesn't require thermore injection. It was like 35 or something. Okay, well, that's, that's where we've been. We've uh, we got the solar panels there. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, and then I'd seen this. Oh yeah, and this is okay. Yeah, and I wanted to check out this biome down here. It's uh. You know, what kind of biome is it? It looks like it's just, um... Oh, there's trees. The tree textures are moving. 
This is like a swampy biome, I think, so it's not going to contain um, iron, carbon, and silicon. You know what I think actually would be useful is if to use those hover things, you know? I mean, yeah, of course, uh, actually the most useful thing is a flying vehicle, just flying everywhere. But, you know, landing and stuff, like if I wanted to land and mine, or if I wanted to get out and inspect something, or if I wanted to collect biomass, which I do... Uh, this thing going up and down in this thing, it's not quite balanced, but I need the dis I need the unbalanced to actually achieve my higher top speed. Uh, oh, distress signal. Oh, it's just a man-made wreck, but there... Well, there might actually... Well, no, no, there aren't. There aren't any more um, notepads, uh, data pads that I can get, but I might be able to get some new technology, I don't know, from these wrecks. Yeah, we'll have to scan those. Where are they, actually? You know what? Might as well... I might as well go and get these on my way, right? What is that? Oh, that's a man-made wreck, too? Jeez, way out there. I think I might as well get that. And this is interesting. Look at that. This is, um... Well, you know what? Look, uh, maybe the desert is, like, at the equator. And then down here... That, oh, that, that, would, that would kind of make sense, actually. Desert at the equator, and then between the equator and the polar regions is, like, tropical kind of nice regions, and then at the poles is, is cold regions, you know? Not that planets have to be that way, but it is on ours right now, and so I guess that's what people are used to. Even though in Antarctica, there's what? There's vegetation and mammoths killed and frozen in the in the layers and stuff like that and they're not even that old in terms of geology so obviously at some point in our not too distant past our polar regions were just not all that cold as they are right now anyways um i'm thinking yeah actually that's probably what it's going to be like we're probably gonna have to pass through the cold regions no Jeez, these wrecks are popping up all over the place. I just got like, what, four within the last ten seconds or something? Um, oh, oh, look at that. Yeah, there's like, that's literally four. Right there in like a row. Probably nothing there, so just, you know, get them off the map. Oh, uh, this one has one of those barrels. Yeah, how do you unlock these barrels? I've never been able to scan one. All right, it is as it would seem. I think that up ahead is the freezing cold region. Let's see, I've got some more wrecks up ahead. <clears throat> but it's almost night, and in the cold region, being in the night is not really recommended. So I'd rather fly in the daytime anyway. So if I'm going to camp out, I should not camp out in the cold region. Otherwise, I could maybe die in a sleeping bag I, I don't know actually can, can i die in a sleeping bag don't know probably not i'll probably just use a bunch of food and water on. so i think i'll camp here you know get an early start in the morning and yeah I go get all the way to the south pole in one flight all day while the temperatures are warmer and check out what's down there hopefully got some cows around here probably need to uh, dispose of them I just ran out of batteries, but they're running away. That's okay. Ooh, shot straight through the buttocks. All right, it is morning. It is just uh, the stars coming up over the hill. It's pretty dark, but we're setting off anyways. I'll try to get to these wrecks that are like uh, pretty much in line with our southern flight. Pretty close. Uh, I'll probably just clean those up. I'll let you know if I find anything. Otherwise, it's into the negatives. Oh, we're already at negative two degrees. All right, we are only five and a half kilometers from the South Pole, and it's still, it's, wow, look at that. It's not even frozen in this one bit. Still plenty of trees. I mean, I'm in the cold biome for sure, but, oh, I just hit a pumpkin, and, um, well, look at all these trees around. Oh, a tree. Oh, I've literally just knocked the tree over with the in the air with this thing. Oh, that was a, yeah, that's got an auto save right then and there. Oh, there's some more trees, dodge the trees. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, this thing kind of, you know, getting, oh, <laughs> it's just hitting every piece of broccoli on the way to the South Pole. 
Yeah, yeah, it doesn't just go straight up, you know. It it kind of bounces and it goes up in waves. I guess that really, really, really icy, snowy region I saw up north was, I don't know, maybe just a pocket of like extreme. Yeah, like that out there. Look at that. Yeah, off to the right. Maybe that's like an extreme biome version. I wonder if there's actually Zenite in there. Maybe I should dig around and find out. I'm gonna dig around, see if there's any Zenite in this extreme biome here. Oh, look at that, I've dug this hole. I found a bunch of uranium in there, and now we can see all over this mountain is like uranium. Oh, I suppose if it is an extreme biome, well, should, we should see those, yeah, the red rocks, the Zenite rocks. Yeah, that's true, that's what we should look at for. This might just be a dangerous biome here. All right, well, I'm gonna go to this alien wreck near the South Pole. The landscape is kind of cool here. You know what? Yeah, it definitely makes me want to build one of those hovering cars, you know, with the hover things. Maybe they are faster. It'd be cool to get around. You know, flying is so easy, and, you know, I bet you flying is the best way to get around by far, but it'd still be kind of cool to have the hover thing. And plus, you know, I don't have to, you know, do the whole up and down thing. It's pretty annoying. All right, and so this is two alien... I need to scan two more, so that would probably be all of the alien things I need to scan, unless I just wanted to loot their inventories. Oh, man, look at all the animals. There's nothing here. There's so many animals, and there's, like, an animal nest. The creators are aware of a human interaction with the technology on Mars. Okay. Congenius scientists speculated that they implanted devices into their technology, enabling them to scan beings that had a, a contact with their seeded worlds. Okay, yeah, you kind of mentioned that before. The motivation for such behavior is yet to be uncovered. Well, probably because they have an agenda and they want to know. Yeah. All right, we'll go to the one right in front of us. Ooh, it is extreme here. Should be, you know... You know, the warmest part of the day, but down to 19. But neither is there in the desert, although, you know, my base is obviously closer to biomass than it would be. Is that, uh, do you think that would be a Zenite crystal? Oh, these are maybe, ah, stop bucking around the thing. Ah, oh, jeez, man, what are you doing? I cannot fly over the terrain because you're bucking around so much. Look at that Zenite crystal. This must be extreme biomic, biomic, biome things here. Yeah, do you get what I'm saying? I mean, the biome must be extreme. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, my inventory is full. It is Zenite. That's for sure. Gold and uranium. I just don't know, uh... It feels like, yeah, this is supposed to be an extreme biome, but I don't know how to get, uh... You know... Zenite... Maybe they're just out there somewhere. Maybe I just haven't had, you know, good luck, but... All right, bouncy, wandering helicopter. You stay somewhere in that vicinity. 34 minus 34 it is. Data from human interaction with Mars technology has been used by the creators to initiate a series of malevolent operations suggesting violent intentions to use seeded worlds as grounds for further biotechnological experimentos. I could have told you that. I could have already told you that. We already figured that out. The final analysis is kind of, you know, just kind of sums up. If you haven't figured it out already, there you go. All right, cool. Let me have... Oh, oh, what did I say? Oh, no, I hit... Everything will be lost and forgotten. I do not trust you at all. Guess what? Don't trust you at all. You are an AI. Okay then. South Pole bound one and a half kilometers. Place your bets. Is there anything really significant or cool or weird or crazy at the South Pole? Or is it just going to be what we've already seen around here? It's just going to be some land, some animals. It's going to be really cold. Uh, that sort of thing. Maybe there's a giant uh, Zenite deposit. 900 meters. It must be somewhere before that ridge up up ahead. Why is it dark? 
Oh, it's getting on. Achievement unlocked down under. Okay, yeah. We are pretty close. It would appear that there is basically nothing at the South Pole. Except some frozen tundra like the rest of it. Of course, you can't really see. Although this, this texture is... Oh, that's it right there. That's it. We've passed it. This texture is kind of... Is that kind of new, isn't it? But there we are! We have made it! We are at the South Pole. There's a flat spot with a kind of a, a different texture. There is something... Well, is it? Well, it kind of goes up the mountains. Maybe it's just flatter than normal. Yeah, Extreme it's... temperature warning. Ooh, minus 40. Ooh, it's going down to minus 60. Anything extreme under the surface here? Just looking for Zenite under the ground, because if you're in the desert, like in that, in the extreme biome of the desert, oh, there it is. We just maybe were unlucky. Yeah, but there it is. It is here. It's under the surface. So this is an extreme biome. It's just cold version, and I've never seen one of these before. It's a Zenite, or is it? It's literally a big Zenite. Oh, we didn't get very much though. The crystals, rev the crystals give you more, but I've never seen one of those. Okay, so if you live, if you want to live in the cold region, go right ahead. There's a zenite around here as well. You can place a miner on it. Oh man, look at that crazy mountain! I think I want to go explore that mountain just because. Uh, hold on, is this um, this mountain is just sticking through either the s not probably not the ceiling of the map, but like a cloud layer. Is this the cloud layer that kind of shrouds the? Oh, no, it is the ceiling of the map, really? Okay. Oh, it must have been higher than I expected. Yeah, okay, so the ceiling... I've found the ceiling of the map before. And it's not very high at all, which is... <laughs> it's just not very high. But this mountain sticks through the ceiling of the map. So this whole Arctic zone down here is quite high above sea level. That's why... Yeah, this thing's freaking out here. Can I go down? Just go down. Yeah, I just need you to go down. That's that's all. Okay, wow, that is, that is one of the biggest peaks I've ever seen. And I shall carve. Ooh, look at that zenite right in the mountain. Could be a giant mountain of zenite. Oh, that's the end of the node. Oh, yeah, it's a regular sized node. Oh, there's another pocket right in here. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow, it's minus 60 degrees in this tunnel. All right, as the sun makes its way down the horizon, I shall bid you all farewell. That was it. We got the um, solar panels set up. That's cool. We got miners set up. And they're mining all the stuff. Uh, not everything we need, but need to go out and get more biomass. And we made it to the South Pole. Now we finally know what is at the poles. It is basically nothing except maybe a flat area that looks slightly different um, but it's also good to know that this zenite has you know you know you have an extreme biome just like in the desert it's a very icy tundra look and if you dig around hard enough you'll eventually find zenite it's there found that out and we completed the uh, alien thing and it basically told us what we kind of already knew or suspected Anyways, yeah, I feel like, you know, this is pretty typical of this kind of game. It's not really a totally developed or finished or smooth game, stuff like that. It's better than Outpost Zero in some ways. So I'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget to slap the like button in the booty. Subscribe if you haven't already because, you know, you can easily follow the series. And that's fun, following a whole series. I like following a whole series on someone else's channel. I have plenty of other content on the channel, so, you know, if you ever feel like, you know, you just want to binge watch stuff, it's great stuff to binge watch. <laughs> I sometimes binge watch stuff, I sometimes binge watch other, other um, you know, channels content. It's fun, have a binge day. Anyways, I'll catch you later. Have a good one, I shall make it out of here and stop freezing my nubs off. Goodbye!